Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having an issue on your Windows computer with the program compatibility troubleshooter not working or launching properly. So this widget's been included in Windows versions, I believe going back as far as Windows 7 and including Windows 11, which they have become more hidden or even removed in some cases. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. The error message typically reads that an error occurred while loading the troubleshooter. An unexpected error has occurred. The troubleshooting wizard can't continue. So just want to point out that on certain Windows 11 computers, some issues with these widgets may be that they're just being phased out and they're just not working properly anymore. They have dependencies that no longer exist on Windows. So we're going to go through hopefully a few ways to troubleshoot it, but there aren't any guarantees, especially on Windows 11. But we're going to go ahead and give it a try anyway. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Up in the top right, search for environment. And best match should say edit environment variables for your account. Go ahead and left click on that. Now there should be an area that says temp, T-E-M-P. Don't select T-M-P, you want to select T-E-M-P. Go ahead and select that and then select the edit button. Now for variable name, you want to delete whatever's in here. Type the hard drive or drive letter that Windows is installed on, which in our case and most people's, it's a C drive. And then a colon backslash temp, T-E-M-P, and then select OK. And then once that is done, go ahead and select OK again. Close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I'm gonna have a command I want you guys to copy from the description of my video. Starts with a DISM and ends with restore health. Go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. And then give that a couple minutes to run.
once that command is finished, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is the System File Checker Utility Scan. Okay, so you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. At this point, close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.